How you doing everyone? It's Kevin. I'm back with another video. Quick tip for cleaning the garage. Brooms. A lot of people don't understand brooms. Now, um, <clears throat> we have a big broom here, which it's a big shop broom. And then we have a small, just a small broom to get around in the corners and sweep everything away from the wall. And uh, I see so many people, when they store their brooms, they store them with the bristles down on the floor. That's about the worst thing you can do. Do you ever pick up a broom and it looks like a banana? Well, that's why, because you store them on the floor. It's best to either have them hanging on the wall, or if you can't hang them, flip them upside down and put them like so. And that'll keep that bristles from bending over. I'm going to show you some bristles on this broom here. And when you go to pick out your broom, I'm going to show you a couple different types of bristles. Okay, we have two brooms here. I have a smaller 20 inch broom and then we have a 24 inch broom. Um, these two brooms I use in the shop all the time and there is a little secret about the bristles. I'm going to show you the blue bristles on the inside of this. Okay, this is probably one of the best uh, types of brooms to get. You want a coarse bristle in here and then a finer bristle out here. There's two different uh, type bristles in here. There's a real coarse. This blue is really hard and this is really soft. This is my favorite broom. Uh, this one works great. Now when you go to pick out a broom, make sure all the bristles are not coarse. If they're coarse, it's going to leave stuff on your floor. With it coarse and fine, this loosens it up and this sweeps it off. So we'll go over to the other broom, this broom over here. Now this broom is not quite as good as that blue and yellow broom. The red and black one, it has fine bristles inside and fine bristles outside. All these bristles are fine. It works good. I would rather have all fine bristles than I would a broom with all coarse bristles. Uh, depending on what you're going to sweep, I'm sweeping the concrete, I got some wood. This broom works just fine, but the blue one has that coarse, which loosens up the stuff on the floor a little better. Now this small broom, this thing here with these flimsy bristles, this broom has very little bristles in it. It's not really heavy. You want more of a heavy uh, broom for in the shop. This broom here was a spare of the moment thing. I picked it up at the dollar store for just a couple bucks just to sweep the floor because my other one broke. But I want more of a coarse and fine, but you don't, you don't want it real flimsy like this. This is really flimsy when you're sweeping. You want something a little bit more fuller. Um, but still, this type of broom here, you don't want to lay this on the floor or the other ones because then you'll see that the, the bristles will start curving. And uh, if you notice my brooms, the bristles aren't curving. I've had this broom for probably 19 years, maybe 20. This one here, Actually, I found it along the road. It was brand new. It must have flew out of somebody's truck. I seen it on the side of the road, stopped, picked it up, been using it ever since. But my bristles are not curved because when I put my broom on, I don't lay them on the floor. I try to flip them over so the bristles are facing up or hang them. So as you can see around me, I've been sweeping the floor and um, I pull everything out to the middle and then I get my bigger broom and I sweep the center. <clears throat> now, when you're sweeping a, a floor, this is how not to sweep your floor. That is not how to sweep your floor if you want to get it clean. I don't know, I'm gonna show you up close. You can see all the dirt that's left on this floor. Look at how much dirt is still left on that floor. That's not how you sweep it. Now I'm going to show you how I sweep the floor. And if you look off to your right, you'll see it's a lot cleaner. When I sweep the floor, 
I tapped it on the floor to get some of that dust out of the inside of it. Now this is how I sweep it. Short strokes. I'm going to go right down the center of where we just swept. Now you can see all the dust in front of it. It's pulling it right off the floor, those little bristles. Now, look at the difference. That's a big difference in the floor. If you take your time, short strokes, and when you push, you overlap back, overlap back. Almost like sweeping your garage twice at one time. Much, much cleaner. Now one thing I really like to do when I'm sweeping the floor is I have my big fan on, my uh, exhaust fan, and it's sucking the dust out. And then I will put on a respirator. I didn't put one on for this video, but listen, the stuff that we're sweeping off the floor, that was the main reason why we were using a respirator to begin with. Turn the fans on, turn the respirator on, and let's get this thing cleaned up. I don't know if you can see it, but look at all the dust that's in there. And it's all heading right for that exhaust fan. Now over on the other side, I have this door open. So it allows the air to come through there and suck it to the other side. Lots of dust. A lot of units would just take this and sweep it outside. We're not going to sweep this outside. We need to get the metal out of it. This is a metal shop. There's a lot of metal in here. Don't sweep it in your driveway, because if you do, you're probably going to get a flat. So, take a magnet and go over this pal with your magnet. Now you're going to get a lot of metal filings, maybe bolts, nuts, all kind of stuff in this. 
because it's in the garage. So I'm only doing this because I don't want this in my garbage can, in a garbage bag. If I put that in a garbage bag, guess what? Somebody's going to get their hand poked. Look at the metal in there. This is a, we do a lot of metal work, so we don't want this in our garbage bag, and we don't want it in our yard. Look at this wire. This is off the welder. All those uh, metal pieces that we grinded off that knife. Here's a big hunk of metal. This hunk of metal right here would go through a tire, no problem at all. Tractor tire, whatever. So we don't want that in the yard. Don't want it in the driveway. So we're just going to go over the pile, make sure we get all this out. And normally I put this in a five gallon bucket and then uh, I have guys that will come and get the metal. And uh, that bucket weighs a good bit because it's full of small stuff. So the rest of that now we can sweep up and put right in our garbage can. Now when I sweep my garage I like to do it in sections because I don't want to keep pushing this dirt right here across the floor. It just makes more of a mess. It's better just to do it in sections and get it picked up and then do another section. Now this stuff here when you put it in your garbage bag it's going to get heavy depending on how much you got on your floor. I wouldn't be afraid to put this outside because we took the metal out of it. Most of it's just wood and dirt. So you could put this outside if you wanted. Okay. That's how I clean my floor. Okay, so when you're cleaning your floor, if you can, get a broom with soft bristles this type of broom with soft bristles maybe not so long and more bristles this has got very little bristles it works but it's not the greatest that's for sure and then i picked up this little guy which has fine bristles you've seen i was sweeping it into the dustpan this little guy here works great for that but this one here more bristles uh, not stiff bristles, but more bristles. So, that's just a little bit about how to clean a floor. I see so many people just going through there and sweeping, and the floor is still dirty. Well, a job worth doing is worth doing right. So, get the right tools. Put your bristles up. Don't make bananas out of your rooms. Sand them up or hang them up. That's the best thing to do. Those brooms are made to last you a lifetime. As long as you don't hit nobody with it. So I would like to tell everyone thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave me thumbs up, thumbs down, or a comment if you'd like. Until next time.